Hey, guys. Hello. We are at our first stop for tonight. That's Revelstoke. We are in a campground. And you wonder why is there a hot pot in a campground? I don't know either. You got to ask Janie about that. <laughs> but she, uh, she prepared a great meal. Uh, so that's our hot pot dinner for tonight. Um, Very yummy. Yeah. yeah so there's still, there's still people coming on. Oh, there's five people already. Uh, so yeah. But today was the first day we left Vancouver and we drove. It wasn't too bad, I guess. What was it? Uh, six hours? Seven hours? Oh, longer than that. Well, well we still no, we have driving to, time. We don't no, count this. No, we have to pack up the uh, spicy parts, like the car wouldn't start. Oh, right. Yeah. In the morning. That's right. And then Andrew wanted Which to take the pole dramatic. with him. On, you have to be like, on the, the road. car wouldn't start Which pole? for two hours. The big one, the concrete one. Oh, yes. That's right. Okay. You want to share that part? No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this morning when we were about to leave our house and then the car wouldn't start. So we had to get a generator yeah. to jump start our car. It yeah. worked though. No, yeah. we had well, a Andrew had an extra yeah, battery that, thing. That, that's the battery I'm talking about. I, I don't know need, what to call. We didn't need to call anyone in. Yeah. Okay, let's let's start way before that. So yesterday, Janie spent the whole day prepping and packing. This morning I had a uh, business call, a webinar until 8:30s, but you know, we all woke up early to pack it all up. Um, I, I pack it off. Yes. And I, <laughs> I had to wake up car. at 6.30 to trade with Wall Street to sponsor our trip. I helped a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's right. This trip is sponsored by Amy. Doing by, the Wall whole, by, Wall, actually, by Wall Street. So yeah. we really Stock trading. for that. So, yeah. Um, we finally got everything ready. And we were supposed to go pick up Amy and Andrew at 8.45. But I think we we're late. When we were all ready, everything in, packed up, trailers in, coolers in, trucks in. We started the engine. It was like, shoot. It's not starting. <laughs> and we we're a little bit worried because Andrew spent some good money prepping the, the truck uh, so that he's ready for this trip. And uh, we we're thinking it's all ready, but then, wow. Um, so we we're a little bit worried. So we called up Andrew. And uh, fortunately, he uh, was a Boy Scout. He was smart enough to have a little booster pack uh, that he got. So we, we did that, charged it up, and uh, it started fine. So great, one uh, one little scare done, and then we went to pick them up, and we were on the road. And what else happened? What other adventures happened today? Um, oh, the next adventure, I guess, is uh, Andrew can share that part. How he? <laughs> I just <clears throat> I didn't uh, anticipate the trailer to be so long, so I kind of took part of the <laughs> concrete pole that was standing on the way. I see. Did you get caught? No. Okay. no. No. He turned himself in. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that was um, this morning. And then where was the spot? Oh, yeah. We, we stopped by at a, a very interesting uh, historic site. It's called the Last Spike. If you guys are ever going from Vancouver after Sikkimus, before uh, Revelstoke, there's this little town. I forgot what the town's called. Some Scottish name. Anyways, I'll post it up. Uh, there's this little town about half an hour outside of Revelstoke called uh, the site. It's, it's actually a rest stop, but there's a cute little uh, museum and gift shop, and it's called the Last Spike. And it's because when they finished building a CPR, at least the western section of it, they stopped there, and they did the ceremonial Last Spike on the railroad. That was November 7th, 1885. Yes. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of cool. We uh, went to just take pictures and check it out. It was nice. And that was thanks to my friend Jordan Wade for telling me that last minute. So if you guys have any good comments or places for us to stop by, feel free. Leave us comments here. Message me. Whatever it is, we'd love to check it out. Uh, our trip, of course, is going right across to New Brunswick. We're going to see if we can actually make it there, depending on what the borders are like. I heard Alberta's open. So we're next stop is Banff. We're going to Banff and then up through Jasper, over Jasper to uh, Edmonton. We're going to visit our friend Tim Sai, Amy's friend there in Edmonton. He's going to let us park outside his, uh, his, his driveway and his corner lot. So that should be good. Spend some time with Ray. friends. Yeah. Tim and Ray. Yes, Tim and Ray. So, yeah, that's uh, the next few days. And I've so far, I've planned up to um, Saskatchewan. Usually, I, I plan quite a bit ahead. Uh, book the RV sites and stuff like that, but I want to leave it a little bit loose 
depending on how we go, we're planning to drive for about six hours a day. But the section after Saskatoon, so Saskatoon, Winnipeg, Thunder Bay, all of that stuff, it's about eight hours drive. So we're debating if we should drive the whole thing through and save some time so we can spend more time in Toronto, Quebec, Montreal, uh, or, or, or not. So yeah, depending on the weather. So we're going to leave it a little bit loose. Um, I booked up to Saskatchewan. After that, we don't know. We're going to leave it loose and we're going to see how it goes. My only worry is that now that there's nowhere to fly to because of the pandemic, people are going to drive everywhere. So campsites and RV sites might be a little bit booked up, but we're going to play by ear and see. If we have to, we might just boondock it. Oh, Julia's daughter made these. Ooh, check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, who made this, Andrew? Julia's daughter. Okay, Andrew's friend Julia's daughter made these from. So we're going to enjoy this tonight uh, over a nice campfire. So yes, happy about that. So that's our first day and our first, uh, this is our weekly wrap up. Uh, basically every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. we're going to have a weekly wrap up. So feel free to tune in on YouTube and uh, join us on the conversation. And every day uh, we're going to do a Instagram, uh, just an Instagram update really. Uh, and that will be 12 noon Vancouver time on Instagram and Tuesday 8 p.m. on YouTube. If you guys are curious about where we are, how we're doing, all that stuff, uh, then, uh, you know, check us out. Follow us on our trips. Any recommendations are welcome. Yes, any recommendations. Welcome to me. Definitely welcome. And actually, you know, the big question we're asking along our trip is, what does it mean to be living in Canada? Or what does it mean to be Canadian? We want to ask that question along the way. So if you have anyone who's interested in answering that question for us, who's really patriotic, Feel free to connect us with them. Um, otherwise, we'll be looking for strangers and seeing what they say. Tomorrow's Canada Day. We've got uh, the Canadian flag on our on our SUV there, as you can see. We're going to be rolling through Banff. I heard that the parade, uh, Banff usually has a huge parade every year, but I heard that's canceled, so unfortunately. Uh, but we're going to see what other adventures are there for us. We're going to spend two days in Banff, find a nice place to hike and then continue up the Icefield Parkway to Jasper and then over to Edmonton. So that's what we know for now. Uh, anything else, guys, before we sign off? Okay. All right. Thank Bye, you everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow on Instagram and next week on YouTube.